hi guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to blow out your mind today i'm going to share to you what is all about coconut is it a seed a fruit or a nut if you want to find it out check this video hi guys it's me again mads vlog and today we're talk we're going to talk about coconut what is coconut all about coconut is it a seed a fruit or a nuts coconut is all of this a seed a fruit and a nut coconut is a seed because it is the reproductive part of the tree coconut is a fruit because it has its fibrous one seeded droop and a coconut is a nut because a loose definition of its of a nut is nothing but one seeded fruit. Try to ask someone about coconut, what they think about coconut. Maybe they will tell you coconut is a fruit or coconut is a nut and maybe they said coconut is a seed. Anyhow, all of these are true but let us see the definition and explanation about these things. Botanically term, coconut is a droop, fibrous one-seeded droop, in other words, it's a dry droop. And what is droop all about? A droop is basically a fruit in which a flesh part encompasses the hardened outer part, which in turn houses the seed inside. A droop has three layers, the exocarp which is the outer cover of the coconut, the green part when it's still young, when it gets dry, it turns to brown. Or yung tinatawag natin sa Tagalog na bunot. It is the outmost and hardened layer. The next layer is mesocarp, the fleshy middle part. Ito na yung tinatawag natin na buko. It's the coconut flesh or yung niyog, yung kinukudkod just like it's the one we make coconut milk or whatsoever it is the one in the middle already of the inside the coconut and the middle part is the endocorp the hard layer surrounding the seed yun yung bao it's, it's in coconut it's the coconut shell However, coconut can be a seed. The seed is the reproductive part of the flowering plant. If we, if you saw already a co growing coconut, it is the coconut fruit itself that reproduces the plant. Kung sa Tagalog, yung bunga ng nyog mismo, yun yung nagkakaroon ng shoot para maging isang malaking puno. Yun yung Meron siya, yung nagiging, kung tawag sa amin sa Ilocano is yung para. Pag yung may sibol na yung nyog, nagkakaroon siya ng uh, puti dun sa loob na parang cotton siya na masarap din siya kainin pag maliit pa lang. Pero pag magulang na siya, wala na rin siyang lasa, matam matabang na siya. So, ayun. Coconut can also be a nut because it is one seeded fruit yes we may say that coconut has no seed because if you open it there is no seed inside but coconut is considered to be a one seeded fruit because it is from it is where the new shoot to become a tree is that coconut fruit itself coconut belongs to the palm family kabilang siya sa palm family, yung coconut. And coconut has many use from the shoot, the coconut midribs, from the coconut husk, from the lumber, from the roots. They have many, many functions. They have this medicinal purposes for cleaning and whatsoever. Just like the fruit, you can make it as an oil. The coconut husk, you can make it for, for cleaning like that. 
I'm gonna share to you some interesting facts about coconut. Every bit of coconut is used. As a result, coconut are called the tree of life. It can produce drink, fiber, food, fuel, utensils, musical, instrument, and so much more. Basically speaking, coconut has a medicinal purpose. Botanically speaking, coconut palm is not a tree since there is no bark, no branches, and secondary growth. A coconut palm is woody, perennial, monocotyledon with a trunk being the stem. So let's take a look to the different parts of the coconut and where they can use for it. First is the husk. Sa Tagalog, ito yung bunot. It is the rough exterior of coconut which is made up of a coir or tough fibers. This one, sometimes they can use it in old days. It says they can use it to fill a, to make a bed mattress. Just like they will fill it inside to make the, the bed mattress. And actually, when I was small, during my uh, young age, we used this coconut husk to clean the pots like that. Especially if we are, this traditional cooking, we used to cook in the fire, with the big fire, with the firewood like that. And for sure... All the pots are all black and when I was small we used we used to do that every week we need to clean the pots like that so we use this coconut has to clean the pots and it can quickly re remove the the dirts from the pots and this one also we used to grow orchids because they hold water and orchids doesn't really need that soil because orchids they are hanging and so we use this coconut husk to make to grow orchids we wrap the orchids like that and the roots can easily grow and breathe like that the coconut shell ito na yung kinatawag natin sa tagalog na bao bao this one we use it for cooking before reaching the delicious inside of a coconut one has to get through the hard shell yes yung bibitakin mo siya pag hindi ka marunong hindi maganda yung pagkaka hati mo sa coconut meron sila yung the old people they have this because the coconut have the just like they have this three eyes on it it's like they have this uh, signage where you need to cut it like that so you can cut it very nicely that coconut then these coconut shells they can use it for alternative for charcoals yes this one we use in cooking also before when i was small we use this in, in uh, instead of firewood like this like that we use these coconut shells and coconut shells you can use it for decoration and sometimes they make it into handicrafts utensils like that necklace buttons and um, so much more handicrafts items they're using these coconut shells for display like that tokens so the next part is the flesh if the coconut fruit is still young you can use that as yung tinatawag natin sa tagalog na buko it's very delicious very soft like that when it's get matured of course it's hard already and they can produce this coconut milk and you can uh, you can Make that coconut milk into coconut oil. It is the edible part of the nut. The vitamin-rich coconut kernel, the flesh, can be eaten raw or cooked or processed to manufacture other products like what I said earlier, it's the coconut oil. When great head placed in water and squeezed or blend it, produce coconut milk used in many cereal meals and desserts when matured oil can be extracted from the kernel the oil can be used for cooking prevent hair damage and moisturizes the skin yes when i was small 
we use the coconut oil for as a moisturizer instead of lotion we're using that coconut oil for our skin and for our hair because in my my country in my place we have some coconut fruit coconut trees there also when we are still small we cannot make matured coconut fruit because every now every time we go and then the coconut young coconut will fell and it's very nice with the young coconut flesh and the water on it it's very healthy and delicious next is the coconut water so if you break the coconut fruit they have this water inside the fresh coconut water is high in B vitamins proteins and ascorbic acid a quick drink when feeling drained and depleted will help you get rid back into your feet yes coconut milk is a uh, coconut water is very nice especially when the fruit is still young but when it's really matured already the coconut fruit it's not as delicious as the young ones next is the leaves coconut leaves has many uses also they can use for handicrafts like that and the mid ribs we call it in tagalog ting ting can use that to make it a broomstick to clean the surroundings like that walis 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 ting ting we call that walis ting ting and the leaves they can make it into fans into uh, many handicrafts like that for decorations like that these are used to weave hats basket and mats it's time consuming practice which takes a bit of skills Yes, only the skilled persons can make these items and also the midribs. Sometimes they can use that one to make decorations also nice, nice decorations. But in my country, in my place, that midribs, we usually make it into broomstick. Next part is the heart of the coconut. Known as palmis, it's found right underneath the leaves of the coconut tree. It is a delicacy that is on high demand for both locals and visitors. Ito yung tinatawag natin sa Tagalog na ubod. Oo, napakasarap nga naman ng ubod. Yes, the, the heart of the coconut is very delicious. They can make it a very, very nice dish like that. And sometimes, it's really hard also to have this one because we hardly cut the coconut tree. can make it into nice delicious and delicacies like that the next one is the spath and inflorescence ito yung bulaklak ng niyog this is the one they make it into alcohol ito yung tinatawag nilang tuba yata ito yata yung tinatawag nilang tuba the coconut spath is this is the scope like structure that encloses the inflorescence inflorescence is the flowers So if you see, they have this, that, that spot can, can bear many fruits already. When dried, the inflorescence are used to bloom, especially on the beach when making space for a lovely picnic. When the sap and inflorescence are still close, locals stop it to release sap. Ayun na yung ginagawa nilang sap. It is a kind of alcohol also. They make it fermented like that to make kalo. Kalo tawag nila sa lokal na ano. Pero sa Pilipinas, ito yata yung tinatawag nilang tuba. I'm not quite sure if it's the tuba. Or, but this, from this one, they can make very, very nice uh, liquor, alcohol drink. And that is the alcohol drink. Next part is the trunk, which is, ito na yung puno. This can be used as a lumber. Lumber or planks. They make it into pillars like that. For building houses like that, partition, use as board, like that. Or even you can use it as a firewood. The roots, that is the lowest part of the coconut already the part of this tree holds medicinal properties it can be used to treat gallbladder urinary infections kidney 
kidney related diseases heart burns and eczema so it is really a tree of life from the flower to the leaves to the fruit to the trunk and to the roots they have this special special functions i hope i educated you with this video and watch out for my next video i'll be sh i'll be sharing about these medicinal properties of these coconut roots so stay tuned if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and click the notification bell so you will be get notified whenever i, I have new uploads watch out for my next video because for sure it's some kind of interesting it's the medicinal properties of coconut roots bye thanks for watching